Rostec's ambitious aviation manufacturing plans for 2025, 2026 are a clear indication of their dedication to import substitution within Russia's civil aviation sector. These plans will focus on key projects that will feature domestically developed aircraft and engines. This strategic maneuver is indicative of the overarching national objective of strengthening Russia's industrial sovereignty and decreasing dependence on foreign aerospace technologies. In 2025, Rostec is expected to release four serial MC-21-310 aircraft that are equipped with the Russian PD-14 turbofan engines, which will represent a major victory in the program's transition to entirely indigenous power plants. In public statements, Sergei Chemizov, the CEO of Rostec, has confirmed that certification tests for the PD-14 engine are currently underway. These tests are a critical component of the company's commitment to maintaining rigorous safety and performance standards. He emphasized that the upcoming batch of MC-21-310s will solely rely on this domestically manufactured engine. His statement is a significant advancement, as the American Pratt & Whitney PW-1431G engines were used in the previous MC-21 variants. In comparison to its American counterpart, the PD-14 engine has demonstrated substantial advantages. The PD-14 is lighter and quieter reduces life cycle costs by approximately 20% and is approximately 15% more fuel efficient, according to Denis Pradanikov, Deputy Managing Director of PJSC Yakovlev. The PD-14 is entirely manufactured domestically, which is a critical factor for Rostec and the Russian aviation industry in the face of ongoing geopolitical tensions and sanctions that restrict access to Western components and technology. Additionally, Development initiatives are currently underway to further improve the PD-14's capabilities, indicating that the engine will continue to evolve even after it is introduced to serial production. Rostec is very optimistic about the Sukhoi Superjet 100, or SJ-100, which is being updated with the Russian PD-8 turbofan created by PJSC Yakovlev, along with the MC-21. PD-8 certification has been finalized, and Chemizov has announced that the engine is prepared for serial production to commence in the fourth quarter of 2025. In 2026, Rostec intends to dispatch 14 superjets equipped with PD-8 engines as part of this initiative. The recent deployment of an SJ-100 aircraft equipped with the domestic PD-8 engine was a significant development as it represents a tangible step forward in the replacement of the Superjet's previous French-Russian SAM-146 engines. The PD-8 engine program is rapidly progressing, with the delivery of six engines for flight tests in 2025. These engines will support more than 50 test flights of two SJ-100 prototype aircraft. The ongoing certification tests and close collaboration with suppliers to address challenges exemplify a dynamic process of modernization. From an operational standpoint, Aeroflot is the principal launch customer for these domestic aircraft. Sergei Alexandrovsky, the CEO of Aeroflot Group, has declared his intention to finalize firm contracts for 90 MC-21 aircraft by the end of 2025. This announcement is in addition to the existing firm order for 18 aircraft. He emphasized that Aeroflot's fleet could expand to 460 aircraft by 2030, with domestic models, particularly the MC-21, equivalent to approximately half of the total fleet by 2033 to 2035. According to previous projections, Aeroflot intends to acquire 200 MC-21 aircraft by 2033, with 108 deliveries anticipated by 2030. This further illustrates the importance of these indigenous programs. Rostec's comprehensive assembly plans encompass the IL-114 and the ongoing production of the SJ-100, which are indicative of a multifaceted strategy to revitalize Russia's passenger aircraft sector. The state corporation's vision, as articulated by Chemizov and other executives, is to replace Western imports, guarantee supply chain independence, and advance domestic technology.
to deal with geopolitical challenges that have limited access to Western aerospace technologies, this strategy to replace imports is being put into action with strong support from the government and industry. Russia is establishing the groundwork for sustainable civil aviation growth that is intended to address both domestic requirements and potential export opportunities by driving the development of the PD-14 and PD-8 engines and incorporating them into serial aircraft production. In conclusion, the years 2025 and 2026 are a critical juncture in the development of Russia's civil aviation industrial policy. The planned launch of the MC-21-310 with PD-14 engines and the start of producing SJ-100 aircraft with PD-8 engines show a strong commitment to becoming self-sufficient in technology and improving competitiveness, led by Rostec and government-supported aviation companies. Aeroflot's participation as a launch customer serves as an additional indication of the market's confidence in the incorporation of these critical aviation assets into Russia's commercial airline fleet. This strategic aviation development will continue to be a critical sector to monitor as Russia endeavors to strengthen its domestic aerospace capabilities in the face of the intricate global geopolitical landscape. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us 